guys welcome back to my channel welcome to another video i haven't done an intro like this in so long but i wanted to record an intro um say hi baby <laughs> Uh, so today we are doing this neutral look with a pop of like a neon pink. I wanted to color this wig because I had a pink um, hair dye in my closet for the longest time. And if you guys saw that green neon look that I did, um, I had just the blonde streaks. So I decided to dye it pink and then I needed to buy a different pink because that pink was not hidden. Um, so I had to buy like a, what is it called? Like a color to a kiss color temptations uh hair dye and i dyed it pink and i thought it was really cute but i just had been envisioning this look for the longest time so i really wanted to put it you know to work so i finally was able to film today jack isn't even here i filmed this entire look with bb uh and we got it done so i'm so proud of us because baby baby <laughs> it's a long time coming huh so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoy it it will be a voiceover so i will be talking you guys through it and it is the entire face eyebrows lashes lips face and the eyes so i hope you guys enjoy we love you guys yeah, yeah. say bye bye say bye bye honey and this is blazy poo he's eight months he'll be nine months on the 29th he's getting so big you guys um i plan on getting a new camera when we get our taxes back because i want to buy a vlog camera because the vlog camera that i have i have a sony alpha a5000 A5, and it's just old it's like eight years old and it's just it just doesn't do what it's supposed to like it just doesn't get what it's supposed to give yeah so yeah so we need a new camera so we can vlog ourselves yay Yay! Yay! Kiss? No kisses for mommy. <laughs> Alright, I love you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Alright you guys, so of course I'm going to start by moisturizing my lips. This is like a Bobbi Brown um, little lip gloss. Then I'm going to um, move on to my brows. I am using the ABH Brow Freeze. And I actually started out with this and I moved on to some um, my glycerin soap because I was doing more of like a soap brow, kind of more natural looking brow. And the ABH Brow Freeze just wasn't giving me what I needed it to give. So I used that and then I used the ABH Brow Powder in Ebony. And I used some Sometimes I go into the darker shade and sometimes I go into the lighter shade. It just kind of depends on, you know, what I'm feeling. I do use the darker shade for the outer edge and like the tail. And then I'll use the lighter shade in the um, beginning part. Then I am taking um, the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Dark 40. <clears throat> I've personally been liking to use a lighter concealer to highlight my brow bone and also prime my eyeshadow um, or prime for eyeshadow I should say and I'm using a concealer brush from Sigma Beauty. Uh, I don't remember the number of this brush but it's just a concealer brush and then I'm going to use that to drag it down onto the lid as well just to make sure I can blend it in for eyeshadow. So. Speaking of eyeshadow, let's get started. I am first going to use that same concealer with a um, Sigma Dream Blender brush, I believe it is. It's uh, the collab collaboration they did with Beauty Bird, and I love this brush so much for blending out concealer. It's so, so soft, and I set it just very lightly with a translucent setting powder. Then I'm taking the Sigma Beauty Ivy Eyeshadow Palette, and I'm taking that dark, dark brown, and it's called Clove. I'm using a... Um, a mini E25 brush. I think it's, I'm not sure of the number of this brush, but it's a really small tapered blending brush. And I'm placing this dark, dark, dark brown into the crease. And I kind of decided to do a reverse for my eyeshadow. So I'm using that shade first. Then I'm going to take the lighter shade in that same palette, which is called Bourbon, um, with a fluffy brush from Morphe. And I'm going to put that right on top. So normally what I would do is apply transition shade, then I would apply this brown shade, and then I'd apply the darker brown shade. So I'd work from like top to bottom, but this time I worked from bottom to top. I just decided to do something a little bit different, you know what I mean? <laughs> 
So I am taking the Dose of Color Sassy CNS palette just for my transition shade. And I'm taking a big, large, fluffy brush from Morphe Brushes as well. And then I'm going to go back in with a little more of Clove just to deepen and darken that up. And I'll continue to go in with Clove over and over and over throughout this tutorial, you'll see, because I want it to be really, really dark. And I don't want to lose a lot of that color when I cut my crease, which I find you can. So just blending that out a little further and then I'm going to take my P. Louise eyeshadow base in rumor number seven, I think it is. Um, I've never been a fan of this eyeshadow base. It was just like in my makeup collection and I grabbed it one day and I'm like, mm, you should try it out again, see how you like it, but I've never really been a fan of it. Um, taking a dose of colors concealer brush and then I'm gonna take this Makeup Is My Life Neon Pigment and I'm going to apply this into the upper crease, kind of where I cut that crease. So. This, I, I kind of did this a little extra. You can just take this pigment with some um, Inglot Duraline drops and kind of mix it and do like a little liner kind of thing, but I, I don't know, I've never done it like this, so I just kind of want to switch it up. I'm taking a Q-tip and just cleaning that up, sharpening it up, making it really nice and crisp and clean. And then I'm taking the ABH eyelid primer and I am taking a Sigma F70 concealer brush and this is a larger concealer brush than the one that I use to carve out my brows and I'm just using that to carve that shade out and to also um, prime the lid. So for the lid I am taking the ColourPop It's All Good eyeshadow palette and I'm taking the shade Sunny which is a really pretty like in yellowy nude color but it has um pink reflex which you can't really see the reflex in like normal lighting but it has pink reflex so i thought that would be super cute so i'm going to pack that all over the lid with an eyeshadow brush and then i'm going to go back in with the shade bourbon and i'm going to take that on the outer edge because i don't want this to be a harsh line i'm just going to swipe this brush side to side to side and just kind of like you know just side to side motions just to uh, soften up that outer edge so I'm going to start with that and then I'm going to take a little bit more of clove and um, dark, deepen and darken up the edge as well. Next I'm taking some eyelash glue and I'm going to take some rhinestones. These are pink rhinestones and pop those on. And then I'm going to use some mascara. This is the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes mas Mascara. First time I've used this mascara since I received it and it's pretty good. It's pretty black, but it's pretty good. So the primer that I've been loving right now is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. This primer is so good, you guys. It's so sticky and tacky, which I love, 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 especially for the outer portion of my face. Then I'm going to take the Tatcha Silk Canvas um, Eyeshadow or a face primer and just apply that into my problematic areas which are my cheeks that's where I have um, large pores so I really like this primer I kind of like pull my skin taut and press it into the skin so that way it seeps into the pores as opposed to just sitting directly on top of that um, and then for foundation an oldie buddy goodie you guys I decided to bust out my morphe fluidity foundation in four 0 0.110 if you guys have been watching me for a long time you will remember that this was like my favorite foundation for the longest time this is actually the foundation that i wore for my wedding i know i need a new one and i'm sure this one is expired but who cares makeup is expensive okay um so i am just applying that with a revlon flat kabuki brush this brush is amazing as well i'm sure you can find it at like wherever they sell revlon but it's a really dense kabuki brush so i'm applying that all over it's giving me the coverage that i need it to give and then the concealer is the Morphe Fluidity Concealer in the shade C41, C4.15. And this is a very light concealer. Like this is like, you know, it's, it's like four to five shades lighter than I am. Maybe three to four shades lighter than I am. But it's, it's just what I like. Like I remember why I love this concealer because it gives such a bright under eye and that's just what I like. So I blended that out with my beauty blender and then I'm going to take my Ben Nye Luxury Banana Powder. This is my favorite setting powder at the moment. It sets so well and it brightens so good. <laughs> so I'm going to first put, um, press that onto my skin and then I'm going to pat it into my skin. So 
I feel like to give me a flawless under eye, like I have to press it into the skin and it really brightens. Then I'm taking this um, this little like blending brush from more um, from Sigma. I'm sorry, it's my favorite like setting brush, and I'm just gonna wipe away any excess powder. The Juvia's Place bronzer I have been loving for probably like a few months by now since I've kind of gotten back into makeup. So I'm taking a Sigma E39 Buff and Blend brush, and then I'm going to take my Beauty Blender with some more of that Ben, ben Nye banana powder and just go along the side of my nose just to further snatch the nose this step isn't necessary but I feel like it's something that I need and then I'm taking a large powder brush and first I'm going in with the lighter shade in this palette because this palette has a lighter like brown shade which is great for bronzing and then it has a darker kind of like dark cooler brown and I'm going to go in with that here you'll see it's kind of like a little darker and I just apply that right into the hollows of the cheek as well as the corners of the forehead and just work it that way so we're gonna move on to blush and the blush that we're using is a black radiance blush this is the shade raspberry I wanted something really really pink and this gave chef's kiss okay <laughs> this blush isn't the most pigmented blush so i do have to go in a lot of times but it was the perfect color for this look and then of course my highlighter dose of colors um times desi katie it's the shade mirame and it's just it's just perfect i do apply a little bit of that underneath of my brow bone since the eyes are completely matte i wanted to go in with some you know some sparkle on the brow bone i haven't highlighted my brow bone in ages and it turned out well so I'm using a Stilazzi highlighting brush just to apply that highlighter to the high points of my face, above my brow, my cheekbone, my nose, Cupid's bow, and a little on the chin. And then there's Vivi! <laughs> um, we actually filmed this tutorial. I don't know if I mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but we filmed this tutorial while daddy was at work so bb was just kind of like sitting around my makeup room terrorizing it watching his tv i pulled a cart in here so he could <laughs> um watch tv in here while i filmed this is the first time i was ever able to film with him so we are gonna you know we will call that a success um i'm using the morphe setting spray just to set the face and then i'm taking more of bourbon and clove um first i'm taking bourbon just with a pencil brush and i'm just gonna put that right on the lower lash line i am going from all the way from the outer edge all the way to the inner corner i decided not to apply an inner corner highlight for this look and then i'm gonna take a little bit more of bourbon just to blend that out Makes it all smoky and everything. And then I'm taking a Milani Eye Cold Pencil. This is in black. I don't know what made me use black in hindsight. Maybe I should have used nude, but I'd never use a black liner. Um, for lips, I'm using a ColourPop lip liner in BFF number four. Because I was going in with a pink, a light pink lip, I knew I didn't want to have a super dark brown lip line. And BFF number four is the perfect lip liner if you don't want it to be too, too, too brown. So for liquid lipstick, I am applying Sigma Beauty's liquid lipstick in the shade Suede. And it's just, it's so natural. Like it literally looks like my lip color. So I'm gonna apply that and then I'm gonna pat my lips because you don't want to rub your lips, never rub your lips, always pat. And then there's this gloss, this Urban Decay, what is this, a plumping shine balm in Cruisin'. I found these in this tray of lip glosses that I had because when I got PR, I would have so much lip glosses and stuff that I didn't know what to do with it. And I found this and it's so tingly, it's so minty, it's, it's a beautiful color. Um, it gave me exactly the glossy kind of color that I wanted. And then for lap, laps <laughs> for lashes i'm using the lash me up tp lashes in the style al41 absolutely gorgeous i know they're very very long and definitely not everyone's cup of tea but i feel like the more like wispy and flirty the lashes are, the better. And these just gave me exactly what I needed it to give, okay? Um, this is the benefit uh, precisely my brow pencil. I always go in with the brow pencil after I do my brows. And that is it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you all. And I will catch you guys in the next video very soon. Mwah. Bye!